Welcome back to another Motion VFX Academy. I'm your host, Dylan, and today Nick is gonna run you through libraries, events, and projects in Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut Pro 10.1 or later, you organize your work in libraries. Now a library can contain multiple events and projects in the same location. I'm gonna to head to my dock and launch Final Cut Pro. If this is the first time that you're launching the application, you'll be presented on the top left-hand corner with an untitled library. Let's single-click the name and give it something more meaningful. I'm going to call mine Motion VFX. You'll see here that we get a default event based on the date that this library was created, not to mention a folder containing smart collections, a topic for another movie. With the library selected, if I choose to go to the File menu and go to New Project, I'll create a project called My Edit, selecting the default settings and choosing OK. And now I can see that that My Edit project exists in the event that's contained within the Motion VFX library. In fact, the library tracks all of your media files, your editing decisions, and the associated metadata. But staring at a blank library doesn't really show this. For the time being, I'm going to close my timeline by clicking on the button on the top right hand corner and head to the file menu where I'll open a new library that contains media. The one that I want to open is called Beach and Travel Shots, which displays here in the list. If I select the Beach and Travel Shots library, we can see all of the clips that are inside of it, the fact that it contains a smart collection, and an event called Trips that also contains keyword collections. I'm now going to switch back from the event to the library. All of this media, as well as any editing decisions that exist inside the MyRide project, are tracked within this library. As we can see, we can have multiple libraries open inside of Final Cut, not to mention copy the contents of one library to another. I'm going to select the Trips event and drag it over the Motion VFX library. I'll get a green plus icon. Once I release the mouse, I'm presented with a dialog box where I can choose how to copy this media over. For instance, if I knew I needed to upload this library to an editor, one of the options I might choose is to include only proxy media, which are smaller files, and then upload it to them. If I knew the editor actually had copies of the exact same media that I had on his local storage system, I could choose to copy this event without media over to this library. There are lots of options for various workflows. In this instance, I'm going to choose media and copy the original media only. Once I choose OK, we can now see that the Motion VFX library now contains the trips event with all of the clips inside of it. Just as easily as I open the beach and travel shots library, I can head to the file menu and choose to close this library or just right click it and choose that option from a contextual menu. Selecting the Motion VFX library again, let's import some clips into the default library that we have. First of all, I'll rename it by selecting it and then single clicking, calling this Managed Media. With the event selected, I'll go to the File menu and choose Import Media. In the Import Media dialog box, I can see on the left hand side, I've saved a favorite location to the folder containing all of the clips that I want to import. I'm going to select the first three here from the list. On the right hand side is how I can bring these files into my existing library. Because I had the Managed Media event selected, that is what is targeted, but I could choose to save it to the Trips event that I copied over from the other library. I also have options for how these files are going to be referenced by the Final Cut library. If I choose the default option, which is to copy these files to the library, it's going to make a duplicate copy inside the Final Cut library. And let's see what happens when I choose the Import Selected button. We can see all three clips now exist inside the Final Cut library. And if I right or control click any of these and choose to reveal it in the finder and expand my finder window, we can see a duplicate copy was created and placed inside this library. Not to mention if I select the library and press command I for info, the size of the library has also increased because we have copied that media over. This is known as managed media. Heading back into Final Cut, 
under my Motion VFX library, I'm going to go to the File menu and create a new event, calling it Unmanaged Media. With that event targeted, I'll choose to Import Media, since there's nothing inside of it right now, where I'll select the fourth clip on the list and then shift click the sixth. Again, since that event was targeted, it's going to go to the unmanaged media event. This time I'm going to choose to leave the files in place. This is not going to copy over the files into the library. It's going to leave them on the external drive from which they came. If I choose import selected, we can see that those three clips come inside the event. And if I right click any of those and choose to reveal it in the finder, once again, expanding the Finder window, it shoots me out to the original storage location, the external drive that these files come from, rather than directly inside the Final Cut library. This is known as unmanaged media. Now, at any time, we can choose to copy clips over to our Final Cut library. One way to do this is to select the Final Cut library, and in the inspector on the right-hand side under Library Properties, let's go under the media settings and under in library choose to consolidate. Since I don't have any optimized or proxy media with the clips that I'm copying over, I'm just going to choose original media. Once I press OK, the background task manager begins to start consolidating or copying these clips over into the Final Cut library. Let's review all this. Libraries are a collection of all of your projects and media stored across events. Now, if I select the library and choose to import media into the library, we have two options. One is to copy and store the files directly within the Final Cut library. This is known as managed media. The other is to leave your files in place or on the external or connect drives from which they come from. This is known as unmanaged media. After I close that import dialog box and head back to Final Cut with my Motion VFX library selected, at any time, under the library properties in the inspector, we can choose to consolidate or copy any left-in-place files into our Final Cut library. As you can see, working with libraries in Final Cut is extremely versatile for your video editing workflows.